All right, welcome back to Old Man Tech. Um, I have received uh, quite a few um, comments on videos um, asking to actually start from the beginning of installing Kodi. I mean, there is a procedure. You know, when you first install Kodi, just, just the program Kodi itself, it doesn't really come with any options to see current movies, uh, maybe even older movies, TV shows, and music, and that kind of thing. I mean, there are some, some things that Kodi provides, but in order to get the full effect of Kodi, um, you'll want to add on some add-ons. Those add-ons are created by other people to provide sources for newer movies, newer TV shows, music, and, and so forth. Um, so, yes, you have to install the program, Kodi. Then you have to install some add-ons. Um, there are quite a few different add-ons. In today's example, I'll just pick one. I like Exodus. Exodus is my favorite at the moment. Um, so we'll we'll install that. So you know, here it is from start to finish. Okay. Once this video is over, if you uh, go step by step, you'll be able to view TV shows and movies for free on Kodi. So let's do that. So first thing, of course, you want to do is go to the Kodi website. I've already got it pulled up here. It is kodi.tv. All right, and you will go right here if you hit Kodi TV. All right, so we are going to install. I'm going to install it on a Windows version. You can, of course, install install it on an iOS, Android, um, Linux, quite a few different uh, operating systems. But for this example, we'll go uh, straight Windows. I'm using Windows 10, and um, you know you can check back on my on my uh, YouTube channel for other operating systems you know it's basically the same thing there are a few little differences depending on the OS so here we go so uh, enough talking let's go to it okay go to the t downloads tab scroll down now the latest version is 17.1 but that's the release candidate 17.0 is the f latest full version but uh, let's go ahead and get the the release candidate 17.1 Krypton works the same I think there was a couple bug fixes so uh, yeah let's go ahead and do that like I said you can do there's Raspberry Pi iOS uh, I'm not sure what that one is, but there's Android, iOS, I'm sorry, uh, Apple, and Linux. So we're going to do the Windows version right there. Let's check the installer. Click that. All right, and it's going to install in my downloads folder. So let's save that. And you can see down here it is installing. Let's give it a few minutes and uh, or a few seconds. I'll be right back. All right, so you can see that the uh, that it has downloaded. Let's go ahead and click this to open it up, or you can go to your downloads folder wherever you downloaded it. So uh, click that. There we go. Do we want to allow that? Yes, we want to allow that. Okay. Then we're going to say next, and I agree to the terms, and we're going to go to the full full install right there. Next. Yes, put it in the default folder. Uh, yes, I want it to make a shortcut, and there you go. It's installing. So. Uh, I'll be right back. All right, so it completed the uh, the install. Let's go ahead and run Cody. We can either click that or the icon that it creates. Of course, we'll just hit that. Say finish. Oh, guess it's back behind. There it is. All right, so here it is, brand new installed. Um, there's a couple settings I like to change to begin with. Um, you can make some more tweaks here and there as you as you go along as you see fit. But just to get it working correctly, there's a few things that I like to select. So what I'd like to do is go up to the settings little button up here click that and in here we're gonna to go to system settings and I like to let's see where's it at ba -ba -ba -ba, full screen audio ba -ba -ba, was it add-ons there we go under the add-on section here go over here and say unknown sources that way we can install and, and of course say yes we can install some of those add-ons that Cody doesn't necessarily um, you know provide or, or whatever so we'll do that also I want to change this to um, expert just so some of these settings you know some of these extra settings we can do also another thing I like to do is where is this under interface I think it is under interface yep screensaver I like to take that and take it off just not to worry about the screensaver um, like I said you can change some of these settings if you'd like um, but that's all I do right from the beginning so right click all the way back out of it there we go now we're back at the main menu okay so now you want to we want to um, actually install some of these add-ons as, as you can see there's no add-ons installed Cody does provide some video sources and that kind of thing but 
nothing that, that's really good with new movies, new uh, releases, you know, that kind of thing. So let's go back out of here. First thing we want to do is go to our settings tab again. Okay. We are going to, like I said, in this example, we're going to install Exodus. There's quite a few different add-ons. There's Phoenix, there's Zen, there, there's all kinds of them. Um, but this is the, the example we're going to use. So, um, for this example, I know the URL. So let's go ahead and go to File Manager. Like I said, I'm sorry, go, let's go back under Settings, File Manager. And we have to provide the source for the repository for Exodus. Um, Exodus uses, now they used, it used to be um, updated and everything by Lambda. Lambda is no longer doing it. TV add-ons themselves are doing it now. So let's add the uh, the TV add-ons uh, repository. So uh, we're going to go under Add Source. Double click it. Here in this section right here, we're going to have to add the URL to the path for the uh, for the repository. So it's going to be HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. Like I said, this one is the TV add-ons one, so it's called Fusion dot TV add-ons dot AG. That's the the uh, the URL that they use. So we're going to click OK. All right, and we're going to add. We're going to call it something. I'm just going to call this Fusion, but I like to put a dot in front of it. That way, when it comes up in the list, if if I have multiple ones, it comes up in a big list, it'll be at the very top of the list. So dot F U S I whoop, I O N whoop, N. There we go. And click OK. All right, so there it is. There's the URL, and that's what we're going to call it. So we're going to click OK. All right, and you can see here in the list, like I said, is it up at the top? When we add more, it'd be nice to have all of them at the top. So, all right, let's go ahead and either hit Escape or right click and do it again. All right, get back to the main menu. All right, so from here, we uh, want to go into our Add-ons tab, click on Add-ons, all right, and we're going to go to this section up here, this little box-looking thing, this little package-looking thing. Go ahead and click that, all right, and here's where we're going to add the, uh, we're going to download the actual zip file from that URL that we provided. So we're going to click Install from Zip File, all right, and we're going to go to Fusion, which we just created, all right, and under Fusion, we're going to go to Kodi repos, as in repositories. So we're going to go to Kodi repositories and Exodus. And here's a bunch of different repositories that, uh, you know, that TV add-ons provides. We're going to go to this one. It says repository.exodus-10, I'm sorry, yeah, 1.0.1.zip. Click that. Give it a few seconds. You'll see some notifications on here saying, uh, saying that's it that the repository is installed there you go exodus repository add-on installed okay so now the repository is there now we have to go to that repository and install the exodus video add-on okay so let's go to from the same menu install from repository and here you can see the different repositories that we've installed that's the one we just installed, the Kodi, I'm sorry, the Exodus repository. But you'll see this one here, it says the Kodi add-on. That's the one that Kodi themselves provide. Like I said, there's not a lot of free movies, free TV shows or anything like that. So that's why we added this one. So anyway, so let's go into the Exodus repository. We want to do the video add-ons. And there's Exodus. This is the latest version, by the way, at this time of recording. Uh, this is March, what, the 11th, I think. This is the, uh, the latest version, so let's go ahead and click it. And down here in the bottom left, I'm sorry, bottom right, I don't know my <laughs> left and rights, but anyway, the bottom right, I'm going to click install. So again, let's give it a little bit. You see it's downloading, downloading some stuff that it needs, and you'll see some notifications for all the things that are being installed eventually. There you go, there's some artwork. Right, some metadata. All right, some more things installed.
All right, there you go. It says Exodus add-on is installed. You'll see a check mark right there. That means the Exodus add-on is complete. So again, we can hit escape to go all the way back or right click, whichever. I'm going to hit escape. I'm sorry, got to find the escape button. Okay, let's go all the way back to the main menu. All right, so you look at the main menu. We got all these different things here. Let's go to add-ons and you'll see that we just installed this one. Let's go ahead and click it. This is Exodus. All right, see now they're saying that TV add-ons is uh, taking care of Exodus now, no longer Lambda. This is the very first time you're going to get this uh, continuing t in 15 seconds thing, so we'll just have to wait that time. Again, though, there are so many different add-ons. You can do your research and find out which ones you like, or which ones you want to install. You know, at one point, I had probably 20, 20 different add-ons on there, and I found that I only used two or three. So I got rid of them all but those two or three. One of them is Exodus, one of them is Phoenix, one of them is Zen. Um, I tend to use those most of the time. They, they do have just about everything I need. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, here, so here's Exodus. I'm not going to go too into uh, you know too much detail because there are some videos already out there and you can check them out on my channel of uh, how you can customize Exodus for your likings and uh, how you actually use it but let's go in the movie section just to just to verify that this works and let's check out year and let's go to last year because um, a lot of them in 2017 being that it's the beginning of the year a lot of the videos are still like a cam version not necessarily a real good um, high def version. So let's just pick something we know will work. Eh, let's just pick, uh, bada bada bada, uh, how about Moana? Let's pick that. Now I've noticed the last few days, Exodus has been a little slow to respond. Um, I, I say Exodus, Cody itself is just a little bit slow. And if you see how it's got, look at that, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take forever to, um, to populate all the different providers. That's just there's a setting you can change in Exodus to to, uh, to fix that, but uh, for right now this is the, the default setting. Let's just let's just wait the time. Okay, so it should be loading. Uh, what, what do we do, Moana? It should be loading now. There we go. Here's the different uh, sources for it. Let's just pick the very top one. 1080p should be the best resolution. We'll click that. All right, there it is. That that quick and easy. It's just fast forward just to uh, to get to a different part, so you know that's what it is. Yep, there it is. So yeah, really really simple. Um, you know, like I said, this is just a quick version, quick video showing you how to go from the beginning downloading Kodi uh, to installing the different add-ons. Now, like I said, it's quite a few different add-ons. You can uh, take your pick which ones you like and install those the, basically the same way I just installed this one. You do have to you know know the URL. And then you select your zip file and your repository, and you're good to go. So it's really all it takes. But a lot of people are confused when you say, you know, I'm going to use Kodi to watch movies. You install Kodi, and then there's nothing there. So there you go. So hopefully this helped. Um, yeah, any more questions, please let me know. And I'm sorry if I rambled on a little bit. I just wanted to talk a little bit and, and try to explain a little bit for those new users, people who, who are just trying to get into Kodi. So, all right, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.